Hi! In this video I will show you how you can use GIST plane in Fibery. GIST is a great product management methodology. You can google it to learn more. First let's navigate to App Store. In App Store we can find the GIST plane app and let's try to install it. Here you see GIST plane in left menu. By default we see our goals. Goals are something high level. For example, in our product, we have a goal to accumulate uh, a hundred of customers in the next couple of months. So you can create a couple of goals here on the timeline. And when we open a goal, uh, we see that you can add goal description, set goal state, like for example, this is open. And uh, you can add some ideas uh, for your goal. Idea is some uh, is a hypothesis uh, how you can implement your goal so for example we think that we can create gist app support uh, to have a couple of customers so maybe we want to create vacation tracking and we think that if we open uh, our solution uh, free for startups it will get us some customers as well, at least who will use Fibery. So this is our three ideas. But what idea is the most important? It's unclear. Uh, let's check Idea Bank. So this is a place where all your ideas are accumulated. And uh, to know what idea is more important, uh, we should calculate I score. Let's open first idea and you should set three parameters, like how impactful is this idea? Well, maybe it will be like 6 out of 10. How is it to implement? We think it will be 2-3 weeks uh, to implement. And uh, the main important is cost confidence. What's your cost confidence? I believe we have like anecdotal evidence that uh, GIST will be quite popular. So we see our ICE score calculated based on these parameters. And then let's check, for example, vacation tracking. It will have impact 3. It's really easy to implement and confidence. Well, it's uh, not so. We are not so confident. Maybe you have other opinions that they're going to use it. And here we have our I score. And fruit for startups, uh, impact can be high. Uh, it's relatively easy to implement, and confidence is low. So we have maybe our thematic support that we are going to support some startups. Here we have our I scores calculated. And from that we see that GIST application support is the most important, then we should focus on startups and maybe then on vacation tracking. Okay, what's to do next? Next we are going to start work on this idea. And we should split it to step project. Step project is some incremental step uh, in your idea's implementation. What you can do first to check it, check it value, and what you, what you can do next. So basically we should start from very basic GIST support, maybe add I score calculation next and uh, let's say some fancy charts next. So we have our three step projects uh, and then we can uh, plan our step project by quarter. So uh, in this quarter uh, we'll uh, focus on basic GIST support. And then we'll implement I score calculation and maybe fancy charts. Okay. Uh, okay, but uh, this is just our product plans. But you can connect uh, your stop projects to real work. For example, we have software development app installed, and you have like user stories and bugs here. But uh, how you can connect uh, step projects to user stories? Let's open any step project, for example, this one. And we can add our relation here to user stories. So we are adding a relation, step project to a user story. And step project will have many user stories and user story have will have exactly one project. Let's add it a relation. And here we go. We see a list of user stories that we can uh, connect uh, to our step project. Let's add some. For example, first uh, we should like implement GIST domain, maybe timeline for goals, and then maybe some, uh, for example, ours 
for users. Okay, so we have some stories connected to this project. And navigating back to software, let's say we have our workboard where we do and plan our real work. And we have like um, uh, our three stories here. So we can move them to open state and maybe let's uh, get this into development already and assign this user story to some developer that will like work on it. You can add user story description and things like that. Okay, so now we have everything connected and you can do a real work in Fibery and track your high level progress uh, for step projects uh, and for uh, ideas and for goals as well. Okay. Uh, well, also you can, for example, create custom views. Let's create a new chart for GIS planning to, to see our ideas on a chart, for example. So we can do that. Let's create a new chart. And we will want to see our ideas in the chart. Well, here we will not be very creative and just uh, maybe want to have a uh, scatter plot with uh, ice score and maybe uh, impact here okay and maybe we want to see exact stories so label will be a name and color maybe a state of your ideas okay so here is it and it will be ice score by impact or not by a versus impact here is it and we immediately see that this idea is has a great uh, ice score uh, and uh, average impact maybe this is very impactful but uh, not so high ice score so you can analyze uh, your ideas uh, creating different charts and so on so basically, uh, this is a, a very like uh, basic introduction uh, into GIST in Fibery. So you definitely can create more custom views and uh, uh, explore GIST and tailor to your exact needs.